Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Hussain here back from CNH Small Engine again for another informative review video. This one deals with a uh, another customer's machine here we had here uh, past about four or five days here. This, this whole probably leaves a whole week. And uh, he needed a lot of work done on this machine here. This is a MTD uh, Yard Machine Gold Series, as they call it on here. You see on the top of the uh, engine or on top of the, top of the, um, uh, the housing, there says Gold Series on here. So that's the uh, deluxe model they called back. Um, this one is a 1998 machine, I believe. So uh, if, if you hear a lot of wind in the background, it's pretty windy out here today, so I'm, I apologize for that. Sorry about that. Okay, we'll go on to the stuff that needs to be done to this machine. Uh, the first thing was uh, this guy had uh, virtually no compression in the engine at all on here. He needed the um, a valve job done on the engine on here, and uh, we got that taken care of for it. Uh, we did both the intake and the exhaust on here for that. Plus, we had to install new head gaskets. And the next thing was the carburetor was completely shot, basically. It was completely uh, dark brown, almost black on the majority of the um, components down inside the bowl, up in the emulsion tube, stuff like that on there. So we had to do a complete carb overhaul R&R for that. Uh, next thing was the recoil unit in the back. Somebody stuck a lawnmower recoil unit on here. It was a Chinese knockoff Tecumseh uh, style recoil unit. So we had to put a uh, good used one on here for that because whoever he, he had to work on his machine before us did not do their job properly for that. And we got that fixed on there, putting our good recoil unit on there. And I think the other one thing was the, the other recoil unit, or I should say the uh, electric starter unit, I should say, let me, let me rephrase that. The electric starter gear on the assembly there was basically um, uh, rusted up on there. Uh, these things tend to rust if they tend to sit in a, uh, a warm, moist, uh, you know, damp environment. If you have a garage, it has a lot of... Um, uh, wetness and stuff like that out there. Uh, I would recommend keeping these things in your basement out there to say the least because uh, your electric starter is uh, located right there as you see right there and uh, it's always a good idea to um, hit the electric starter maybe three or four times a season maybe, or, or you know, uh, I'd say uh, me personally I'd recommend doing at least once a month out there to make sure the electric starter gear goes up and down on the shaft properly for that and uh, that's basically a, almost like a preventive maintenance if you, if you want to call it that to get the thing running properly so we had to fix that as well too plus it needed the uh the, the, the standard tune up on there which is uh the old chains had to be changed out of i think by three times it was, it was almost cold black in there to say the least the spark plug is carbon filed out there as well too that thing had to be changed uh, we also took the belly pan out and uh, cleaned out the debris underneath there. Uh, sprayed down the pressure plate with um, brake cleaner. Got it all cleaned up nice and spick and span basically. And uh, drives good now. Augers work okay. Uh, the other thing was his augers down in front on here. He broke one of the shear pins. It was actually the, uh, the left-handed uh, shear pin over there was basically snapped in half. And he had a rock, a small rock wedge behind it in the right-hand side down there as well, too. So we had to refix that as well, too. And I think I forgot to mention, it's a 5-horsepower, 24-inch um, cutting path on this thing as well, too. So I apologize for that. But uh, other than that, that's basically everything that needed to be done to the machine to get it um running properly over here for that so i'll start up here guys you can see how this thing uh runs for me over here now uh it does have an adjustable carburetor I, I think i forgot to mention that too but uh this was actually made before they changed over to the non-adjustable style carburetors and some of these ones they, they can be quite uh picky or finicky if you want to call them that because sometimes the non-adjustable one actually works better than the, the uh, adjustable one so I'll fire it up here for you guys. You can see that's how this thing starts up here. It's been, it been sitting outside here for probably about, I don't know, about half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's like freezing out. I'm, I'm, I'm almost freezing my ass off out here right now. It's about 27 degrees with the wind blowing, probably about 10, 10, 15 miles an hour right now. So that's probably why you're hearing the noise in the background. So I apologize for that. So let's fire this sucker up here and see how it starts. Let me put it on choke over here and see what we got here. You always want to let these things warm up a little bit after too. Let it warm up for maybe about 10-15 seconds out there. And uh, 
to just let it go like that. Put the recoil unit back up on there. These things flop around on there like that. So. There we go. Augers work good on here. I'll be cranking all the way over here so you can see that working. Going good for that. Good for that. It also drives great too. I'll do that right now. So, they bring the idle time. It also seems to be idling fairly good, good right now for us because uh, this one we had to pretty much uh, almost uh, fine tune it over here because uh, when we first rebuilt the thing. It did not want to idle properly. So you can see right there, it's still a little bit of a surging right there in a the low speed, but uh, that's basically about as good as it's probably going to get out there for that. So I really wouldn't worry about it all myself too much because these things run on full speed the whole time. So it's pretty much a new point running them at a slow speed. So that's my review for the MTD 5 horsepower gold series, as they call it right there. So if anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, just uh, drop me a line here and I'll try to answer any questions you guys have. I'll see you guys. Have a nice day.